Hello friends, welcome to the Truth Channel. We are studying the book of Revelation. We have already introduced it and done a number of studies by the enablement of the Holy Spirit. We are going to look at verse 10, which says, On the Lord's day, I was in the Spirit, and the hand behind me, a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, So, on the Lord's day, I was in the Spirit, and the hand behind me, a loud voice like a trumpet. Now, in order for you now to understand who is talking, we need to go back to verse 9. Verse 9 tells us that it is John who was our brother and a companion in suffering, in tribulation, and also it says he was a companion in the kingdom and the endurance of Jesus Christ and for the testimony and for the word of God. So John is the one who is speaking here. The one who was revealed this message from God. We have seen previously that uh, this word, the word of God involves Godhead. There is God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit that are involved. So John uh, introduces himself as one of the brethren who was undergoing the same suffering they were, they were undergoing through. And the reason why he was being persecuted, it is because of the word of God and because of the kingdom of God. And you have seen that in the kingdom of God, one of the things which we receive, it is rejection and persecution. But the good news is when we are rejected, when we are persecuted, God is with us. So John says that... On the Lord's day, so those times, that is, Lord's day uh, came to be known as the day when Jesus uh, resurrected. Uh, the, the believers by then uh, set that day apart to appreciate and acknowledge the beginning of Christianity. Uh, because without the resurrection, then there is no hope. If, if Jesus did not resurrect, then... There is no hope. But now since Jesus resurrected and he showed himself to his disciples, stayed with them for 40 days, we believe also we are going to resurrect when we are in him. Jesus declared that he is the resurrection and the life. So on Lord's day, it means on the first day of the week. That is when it was revealed to him the things which he saw, the things which were, the things which were to take place as we are going to see on Lord's day. And we are told that John was in spirit. What does it mean for John to be in spirit? In spirit here means that uh, he was in a state of peace, in a state of calmness, in a state of hearing God. And remember, at this time we see an island by the name Patmos, as we see in verse 9 of Revelation chapter 1. Remember, he has been banished. He has been uh, secluded um, by the Romans government. And yet, we see God speaking to him, meaning that any place where you are, God can speak to you. Remember these people, they used to commune to fellowship in the temples, in the synagogue. Traditionally, that is what they were used to. But you see now God coming to him, revealing himself to him through Jesus Christ, as we are going to see uh, from verse 13. Jesus himself now introduces himself to John the way he really is, more than the way John had known him during his ministry, on earth. So he was in his spirit, meaning that he was in a state of peace, calmness, and hearing a God. And the Bible says that uh, he had a loud voice. 
speaking to him. So this vision came to John and he was able to, to comprehend and to understand what God had to communicate uh, to him. Meaning that in order, God is communicating, but we need to be at the state which we can hear God. God will always speak, but are you in a position of hearing God? You have to set yourself. You have to fix yourself, your eyes, in a state of hearing God. All worries, the anxieties of this life, are they make us not to hear God when we speak. But now, what we are learning from John is that in this place where he had been put, it was a good environment with no people for him to hear God and to understand what God and to say. So even as we should create a conducive environment for God to speak to us, anything that entangles us, we should set it aside and enable ourselves to hear from God. There are so many things which can make us not hear God. In, in simple terms, we need to be spiritually minded because we, we, we John here was in spirit. When you are spiritually minded, then you are going to hear God. Why? Because God is a spirit. And we, we commune with God through our spirit. When our spirit is disconnected, when we, our spirit is dead, then God cannot uh, commune with us. So we need to feed our spirit so that we are alive spiritually. Then when God speaks, we will be able to hear him. And when we hear God, no matter the situation which you are in, uh, he, he settles everything. He calms the storm and he fixes your eyes to him. And he makes you to understand what he has for you. So God has a purpose for each and every one of us, regardless of the challenges which you go through, regardless of your age. John here is an old man, 95 to 96 years of age, yet God is not done with him. Many people, when they start aging, they give up, they become disappointed. Uh, because of the regret. So in Christ, you can be given a brand new uh, purpose, provided you connect yourself with God. So if you are there and you think or you feel or it is the reality to you that the years have gone by, God is not yet done with you. All that is needed, it is you go to him, create an environment for God to communicate with you. And he is going to speak to you and to make you a blessing even to other people. Because you see here now through the message which God wrote, this status it is a blessing to us today. So this is very encouraging to us in our generation that uh, God is not yet done with you. No matter the challenges which you are going through. And so that you feed your spirit so that you can connect with the spirit of God. Because God is a spirit. And he also created you as a spirit, having your soul and the body. So don't concentrate on the body, concentrate on your spirit. Because the body is something which always opposes what the spirit requires of you. So from verse 11, we are going to see now what did John hear? What did he see? What was revealed to him? So I request you to study. Take your time and study the word of God with an open mind and ask the Spirit of God to give you understanding because God is knowable. God wants you to understand what the future owns. And the book of Revelation helps us to understand uh, where the world is going and also where the world is and where also we are going. So be encouraged. There is some blessing as we found in verse 3 of Revelation chapter 1, of those who read the words of this prophecy and they keep the word and they hear the word. So the Lord bless you and they keep you as you tune yourself 
in such a way that when God communicates, you are you are going to hear him. And no matter your age, God is not yet done with you. He has a plan for you, and his plan for your life is good to make you a blessing. Bye-bye for now. See you in the next study as we continue exploring uh, the word of God in the book of Revelation by grace of God. You are blessed and bye.